Hi, it's Tom from One Site Solutions. This is just a quick video to show you how to use FTP to connect to a JACE and delete history files should you need to, say if a, uh, an incorrectly configured history um, is causing the JACE to run out of memory. You can use FTP to go in there and manually delete the history database files which will allow you to start the station again on the JACE and amend those histories and give them a proper rollover policy. So first things first, in Workbench, open that up and open up a platform connection to the JSON in question. Once you're in the platform, go to Platform Administration. Under there, FTP Telnet, and make sure there's a tick in the FTP Enable box and leave the default port 21. Next, you need to use an FTP client. I like to use FileZilla. It's freely downloadable. Fire that up and in your host or target box, whatever it's called, type the IP of the JACE. Username and password are the platform credentials of the JACE. Connect to that, and as you see over here in my right, I've got all the files uh, that reside on the JACE. Uh, what we want to go is into history, and then under station. Under here, you'll see a number of segment files, uh, folders. You don't want to delete the folders what we need to delete is HDB files within them. You could look at the file size here and decide which ones you want to delete if there's a couple of particularly big ones or you could go through and delete all of them. It's just important that you delete the HDB files themselves and not the segment folders that contain that they're contained in. Um, so once you've done that, delete yourself some histories. You want to go back to the platform of the JSON workbench and hit reboot. When the JACE reboots and the station starts, it then goes and creates all those HDB files again and history will continue logging. Um, obviously you'll lose what was in them HDB files, but if you're archiving to a supervisor that's not a problem anyway. What's very important you do once your station's back up and running is you go through your histories, and unfortunately this has to be one at a time individually, and check to make sure there is a rollover policy applied, otherwise the same thing will happen again, it will fill up. So that's just about everything. See ya.